Speak No Evil, 2024 horror movie starring James McAvoy, right? James McAvoy, Mackenzie Davis, and Scooter McNary. <laughs> I don't just Scooter. My name. Scooter. That's his name, Scooter. His name is Scooter. Uh, um, or Scoot. Scoot, right? Scoot, Scooter, same thing. My, my dog scoots. Um, See, scooting is when, they, when the dog rubs his ass on the floor trying to get the, you know, like, mm-hmm. yeah. So he, takes off to, he takes after yeah. the owner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> except except I, I scoot on your face. What? Oh, come on. Uh, come on. It's family. What? You can't scoot on people's faces. Uh, no, I said scoot. I didn't say hey, bro, we're PJ. We're PJ. Speaking, speaking, so speak no evil. Uh, follows <laughs> follows a family, an American family on vacation. They make friends with this uh, British family. You know, with a husband is James McAvoy, and you know it's charismatic yeah. and everything. They make friends with them, and obviously the uh, the husband, played by Scoot McNary, married. Uh, he's married to Mackenzie Davis, the term the, the, the chick from the Terminator, are, Dark Fate. Um, these two are too trusting. He's a cuck in this movie. He's such a he's like Scoot McNary says yes. He has no spine in this movie, and um, Mandilon. They no. I mean, he is not at all, um, but. He, they obviously, you know, they go, they go and they, they, uh, they meet up with this other family in the, in, you know, in London, in the, in the, in the woods, somewhere in the countryside of London. And not everything is what it seems to be, right? That's pretty much what Speak No Evil is. Are you telling me that all that green grass isn't green? Yeah. And the grass, no, the grass isn't always greener, right? Uh, I will say that. This movie, James McAvoy steals this movie. Oh, he's, he's the best part. He's yeah. the best part of this movie. James McAvoy is the best part. This is not by no means this is a horrible movie or is it a bad movie. He's the best part of the movie. He every time he's on screen, he's great. He steals the scenes. Um, but mo- this kind of movie here, this made me. It's one of those movies where I'm watching somebody's performance. Or their character, and oh my god, this is one of those movies where you want to yell at the theater. Why are you doing the things you guys are doing? Like yeah. you guys are so dumb. Like why? Yeah. The both Mackenzie Davis and Scoop McNary is like the, their characters right? are both and, very unlikable. By the way. Yeah, hundred percent. That's the thing. I kind of, not- I kind of wanted them to. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I like, wanted you, them to get. You're, you're, you're gonna get what you deserve. Yeah, like. Patty, first of all, it's, you know, the, the cheating wife. Yeah. Well, I mean, and yeah, then, she's a, you know, and then, and he and then the husband is so like, oh yeah, well, we're working it out. Oh, yeah. okay. And he's he's living vicariously through Patty, who Patty is that alpha male that he wishes he would he is that he wishes he would be, um, and he has he has no spite. So you, it's like I couldn't like, Patty? uh, what's uh, that's uh, James McAvoy. Oh yeah, yeah, his name Paddy. is Patty. Yeah, his name's Patty. Paddington. Uh, but <laughs> it's like Paddington. But Paddington it, too is great. You can't. You can't. I I couldn't root for them. Not only like is Patty doing things like if if that was your wife, normally you'd at a certain point be like, no, bro, like no, I'll do it. No, just stop talking to my wife like that, or or like the like the scene where he's where she she he knows that she's a. She's a vegetarian or a pescatarian or whatever, and he's he feeds her goose, right? And the husband doesn't step in, doesn't say, no, no, I'll eat it. Mm, it looks good, I'll eat it. She, she, you know, she's she's a pescatarian. He doesn't step in. Um, that's just being a rude guest, though. If you're gonna complain, I mean, like, say, hey, man, you you're invited, to, you're invited over, man. No, but, and, you, and, you, but Patty knew. Yeah, he point. knew he, he knew who he was preying upon. He was he knew he he was he knew who he chose. That's the thing. Patty knew who he chose. The direct the movie the movie was in tone was dark, but I feel that this number one, if you saw the original Danish version of this movie, All you could see the stark you could see the stark differences, the stark differences between these two movies. You can see that one and one is definitely american and the you know whenever you watch an international movie you, you see the differences between uh, the, the international version the original version of a movie and then this one there are its differences there are there there they have the same they have same points 
but different endings. And well, in, in the, the Danish version, uh, the couple that meets up with you know the okay the good couple and the bad couple, um, are they still American? No, or they're Danish. It, they're they're Danish and Italian. Okay, Something there you like go. Check for it. It's more in, in the original. It's not like they're they're. There's a big difference with cultural differences. This one's more like Patty is praying. Pr- Patty knows the family he chose, and he knows how to prey upon the husband, and he knows how to like manipulate him. He's manipulating him. That's yeah, that's like, what the whole that's what the whole, everything he's doing. Just like Diddy. Uh, but that's the thing. Like you end up you I I ended up you you end up liking Patty more. He's uh you know because. The wife, Mackenzie Davis, you know, her character, not an, she's like always yelling at the husband or like, look, you, did you notice that she was always staring, like giving him those death stares for everything? Mm-hmm. And then he, he was a coward. And then then the, the <laughs> husband was a coward. Right. Yeah. He was he wasn't standing up for himself for anyone, even for his own kid. Like he wasn't standing up life? for them. What's going on? <laughs> he wasn't standing yeah. up for any of them. He like he wasn't he wasn't doing it like he didn't do anything to the point where i'm like i don't care if he dies i don't care if any like there could have been so many other moments his death his death in, in the movie would have not would have been inconsequential that's I the think thing anybody's because even even the daughter was getting on my nerves because all of them would they almost escaped they could have left but stupid teddy but bear. she's like stupid this 30 year old little girl yeah, she's like in her thirties, and she still wants her little doll, and they gotta go back for it. And I know, and I that? get it. It's like that's her comfort nah. thing. She's but whatever. It's like comfort. it's still annoying. Like they they were they could have gotten scot free, and the and we're gonna get into spoiler territory. Pat, like they're not doing it to to abduct anybody. They're not doing to to kidnap. They're not doing it. They're literally doing this for money. That's how they make their money. They lure people in. They steal their money, and then they mm-hmm. get rid of them. No. Right, then they get rid of them, and then they they get they get rid of the, the 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 kid that they currently have and replace them with the other kid, you know. And yeah, they they give you this is one of those movies where every time I went to the movie theater, this was a, this was a, this is a trailer that always played in front of every single movie that I saw before this movie came out, and it's it's and again, it, I I think it was like the reason why I didn't want to see a Quiet Place because I saw the same thing. I was more interested in seeing this movie, and I think because of James McAvoy. James Gene McAvoy, his um, he plays really good villains, man. He's another guy that can play really, it, it, really uh-huh. good. There's, there's there's certain certain act, uh, certain actors that once they they find that niche, like uh, like him and Split. It's like uh-huh. like you you see him and you're like, uh-huh. do you see how he transforms? He does it so well. Yeah, he uh, plays just, in his he plays different characters, but he plays a re- he he knows how to he knows how to play a villain. He knows so how to far away from Tumness. Like when yeah. you first see him, <laughs> or well, starter, I mean, was it starter well, it, for nine? But if that, you notice a lot, a lot of the, a lot of those actor, a lot of those characters, I kind of started seeing it, seeing the possibility of him and his and what he can do, when I saw Wanted. And that's yeah. it. And they went an action movie, and then at a certain point, yeah. like that the one with well, uh, Angelina, Angelina Jolie, yeah, yeah Angelina when Jill. where they curved the bullet, it's, you know, extremely realistically curving bullets. Uh, yeah. but, but I will, I, I am going to say like, he, he steals the movie. He makes the movie. If it, he, if McElroy wasn't in the he's movie the reason, as Patty, he's the, reason, he's the reason to watch it. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah, he is. He's the reason to watch it. He's the best yeah, part. Because and... I, I really, I really didn't enjoy the story. It was just getting on my nerves. It was so yeah. stupid. And the, it why so, it was getting, yeah. I think and it was getting on your nerves because of the, of the, of the American family. They're the ones that got, no, on I just nerves. thought it was just so stupid. There's no way. There's no way anybody would would do it. Would meet somebody on a on a quick vacation, and then all of a sudden, like, yeah, let's go, let's go to their house in the yeah. in the mm-hmm. London countryside or in the you in the English countryside. We barely know them oh, for a few days. From oh, day one, we, tons of red yeah. flags. Yeah, yeah, tons of red flags. Number one, one, at the beginning when they're when they're in Italy, and he's like, "Oh, I'll give your daughter a ride on the moped." Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Bro, I don't know you. I'm not gonna let my daughter sit on your lap." Yeah. Don't be weird. That's number home. one. Yeah. Yeah. No. Second and of he all, was, it, it just makes you kind of go, uh, "I'm never getting married." <laughs> well, yeah, it's true. Too late. That's another, <laughs> that's another thing, like that whole the whole relationship with them 
was just extremely extremely dysfunctional the the yeah. the, the the marriage um the, the 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 marriage they had was extremely dysfunctional between I mean, all, all marriages are like that though yeah no but this one is, is like <laughs> he wouldn't stand up for himself at all and the moment he could stand up for himself he still didn't do it and he didn't do it right like he right, had, so- he had to be he had to be pushed by the wife to do something mm. in the movie like go do this oh and then she was always like the like the, when they're in the bedroom right when they're in the bedroom and it seems like they had a good night and they're about to smash and the daughter you know the daughter calls and she's like oh just come sleep with us and he's like bro i have and then she makes the joke later it's like he's lucky enough to even get it once a month yet she was the one that was cheating yeah right i was like bro like why are you in this relationship why are you such a wimp Mm -hmm. like why are you why are you like you should have just you watch or something yeah that that's what that was probably what it what it what it would have ended up being like i could have seen that in the movie (laughs) Yeah, I could have seen that in the movie where he, where, where she's like, hey, you know, because they kind of alluded to that, like we would switch. And he was right? just standing in a dark corner. Yeah, and he, it's like, uh, like the Chappelle Show episode. Yeah, Mad, Mad Real, Real World. World. Yeah, man, we're trying to make love over here. <laughs> Katie got some big old titties. Katie has some big ass titties. <laughs> hey, that one. <laughs> you gotta watch. Yeah, like, uh, uh, but, but yeah, you guys let us know. Did you guys watch Speak No Evil? Did you guys what did you what did you guys pick on? I'm not you know we're not did. saying what, it's a bad movie. It? We're not saying it's a bad movie. I'm not saying it's a good movie. It's not saying, but it was enjoyable. And the reason why it's enjoyable was because of James McAvoy's McAvoy is good in movie. McAvoy really is good in this. He 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 makes the movie. Without him, I don't think it would have been the same movie. I don't if think not, it, I, I don't think it would have been I w- I don't think I would have been able to sit through it. Because I wanted to see what he was going to do next, what was going to happen next with his yeah. character, and how it unrolled. You know, yeah, let us know. Let us know in the comments. In, but then you don't care. His yeah, let us know. Uh, let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And on that note, this has been Vinny, and we'll see you guys next time.